Well, what is going on? Welcome back to Clayton Chick Outdoors. Of course, I'm Clayton Chick and you know it. This is the outdoors. I'm back up at one of my favorite places, Caribou Lodge, Northern Manitoba. And today we are pike fishing. I said in my last series of walleye videos that I was gonna do some bass fishing, pike fishing, etc., etc. But then my boat had some issues and I had to go home and I said I was gonna come back up and do it. So here I am. You've seen some of the bass fishing. I should still have one bass video to come yet, but I'm on a mission today and probably for another couple days yet of some pike fishing. I've never pike fished out here today, so we're gonna be starting from scratch. I'm excited. We're gonna get the boat, it's over there somewhere, in the water and get out there. It is gonna be a little bit windy today, so we're probably gonna hide in some not hide, but it's gonna be part of the strategy. I'll, I'll talk more about that when we go. So let's let's go fishing. Let's do it. I love fishing. Do it, baby. Pike mission coming up. All day pike. All day pike. Gotta do it. Never done all day pike up north like this. Today's the day. Bunch of different baits. Bunch of different areas. It's all new to me. And have some fun. Oh, oh, it's got whack little guy. <laughs> oh, pike are amazing. Look how small that fish is. And he's attacking that bait. Those things are so aggressive. I just love them. Well, this would be a good fish for Jay Siemens, but it's a little bit small for Clayton Schick. It's like I saw it come up too and strike the first time and not connect. And I didn't just set the hook and pull right away, I waited. I'll go through tackle and whatnot, but this is, this is what I'm using right now, 4D perch shad. I will go through tackle here in a little bit and whatever at some point in this video, but this is a, a favorite for mine, for me for sure. <laughs> Little guy. I almost predicted that with those style of weeds. That's what the other, where the other little guys came from. Okay, well, that's all we really found in this little nook, bay, cranny, whatever you want to call it. Just a couple little guys. Oh, oh, gee, good fish, good fish. Oh, are you kidding me? I was just going to adjust my trolling motor. I got hammered. Oh, amazing. Looks like a pretty good one, too. Oh, I don't think I got a good hook in them, though. Really don't just going along this rock wall here at a pretty good clip and actually making a bunch of casts it's working it fast I was just about to go adjust my trolling motor and I looked over when this fish whacked me it came out of nowhere nice love it probably gonna net this fish because I don't think I have it hooked really good I'm gonna hand land a lot of my fish today that's a nice fish. Thick back, thick back on him. Oh, I love the power of a pike. Oh, feels good. I was just about to write this first spot off. I'm really just trying to figure out, oh, don't do that, don't do that. I'm really just trying to figure out a pattern to this, right? Like, are they in weeds? Are they on rocks? Like, where are they? And pulled out the booker tail and started to make a couple, how should I say it, quick casts. Like just like fire them out, burning them in, fire them out, burning them in, covering a bunch of water. And yeah, I was literally just adjusting my trolling motor and got whacked. Nice fish, good fight. It's hardly hooked. I feel like he could just flip it off at any second. Oh, come here, baby. Come here. Oh, not yet. Not yet. Not the easiest thing in the world to net like this by yourself but we can do it we can do it just got to get it close enough here and scoop nice beautiful beautiful fish oh that was awesome okay bring it up show it off <laughs> get a measurement that's an awesome fish right there not giant but fat like thick thick back it's a heavy fish it's probably only 36 37 inches but it's heavy 
No, 38. 38 inch right there, baby. Yeah. Awesome start to the day of pike fishing. Deadly. Deadly. Amazing. Powerful fish. Like so thick. Love it. I love it. She put up a good fight. Let's let her chill here for a minute. Go, go. Come on. I'm just staying with it here. There we go. Well, what can you say? Sometimes it's just better to be lucky than good. Unbelievable. Look at the power of those fish. Look what it did to that spinner. Straight sideways. They're so powerful. This is such an awesome search bait. Booker tail, 500 series with uh, some flash in it. I forget what the name of it is, but I believe it's the 500 series. It's not a great big blade, but you don't always need big baits for big fish. Sometimes it helps. So it looks like there's a little weed bed here and amongst these rocks, so. Oh, and just got hammered again. So I'm gonna be marking this spot right here, even though this one's smaller. It's obviously a little area that probably holds some fish. Back to back cast right there. Actually what I should do, even though I kind of got my boat parked stupidly on top of these weeds, let's throw out the perch shad in here. This I have lots of faith in the catching big fish, no doubt about it. But what I have more, faith in catching big fish as this baby wind just changed on me well let's go mark that spot on the GPS and then continue along just what I'm doing here covering a bunch of water I think that's gonna be my best chance of scoring in something I've never fished before is just cover a pile of water Oh, jeez. <laughs> Just after I got that spot marked and got back to it again. Fish. So that's obviously a really good stretch right here. Three fish in no time. hammered when I was burning it in little guy little guy very cool I love me some pike fishing love me some pike fishing I shake it off perfect well that's nice oh got whacked small guy again that's two fish right off there and that's like four or five fish in no time this one's a little bit better this one would be this one would be a good luncher you'd be a good luncher my friend well not uh what we're after but uh, probably a good eater right there good eater as i let him go he's lucky apple bottom jeans boots with the fur the whole club was looking at her. She hit the floor. Next thing you know, shorty got low, 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 low. Ah, got whacked. Little guy. <laughs> oh, they're so aggressive. They're so much fun, even when they're little. The fight might not be fun, but the 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 chase. The hook up, the hook set, that's the fun part. Let go. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> oh, so much fun. All I'm doing right now is just kind of hitting some main lake, shoreline points, islands, anything where the wind's kind of blowing in. I spent some time in a bunch of back bays right now, that type of thing. And they just didn't seem to be out there at all. I have to. I have to be somewhere close 
to the main body of water it feels like or where it's a little bit deeper and it's probably because they're mostly in their summer transition where they're they are a little bit deeper for the most part so any weeds that you can find that are somewhere between 8 to 12 feet in there that's close to deep water it's probably going to be a good starting point and then if you can't find any weeds you can never go wrong with shoreline 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 anything a lot of shoreline that has like steeper drop-offs like right here on these rocks right here it's going to have a little bit steeper drop off than you would if you have say an island where it's got like a slow slope to it sometimes those big steeper edges hold pike type of thing they hold all fish for that for that matter if i wanted to learn an area quick or a lake quick i would be trolling to be honest shad wrap troll at like three mile an hour and just cover water and mark all your weed beds as you're trolling and then come back you know a day later two days later and cast them it's probably what i should be doing right now is a bunch of trolling <laughs> what are you doing oh that is just awesome i just love how aggressive those little things can be oh they're so small yet so aggressive love this bait nice 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 that's all that's a nice fish that's a nice fish best part is i saw it come and i just kept my lure in the water the whole way always watch good polarized glasses i'm just trying to keep the hook to the back of his body right now because i don't have the best hook set i don't think but good polarized glasses help a lot for looking into the water oh that's awesome deadly i saw that fish literally come at me and miss the lure and i just kept it in the water slowed it down just a tad but not much Ooh, this when you lose them right now slowed it down a little bit but not much kept those blades going on that spinner and just kept it in the water and just kept pulling it pulling it pulling it and yeah nailed it oh that's a nice one second biggest of the day anyway for sure second biggest of the day oh get in there we got him nice fish nice fish oh love it we've been working hard I'm not gonna lie it hasn't been easy i've caught lots of little fish i've caught a 138 incher and this will be my second biggest yeah hooks out already i knew he wasn't hooked very good it's fun it's fun pike fishing is just one of my favorites i tell you what these fish have some serious girth to them i'm impressed like they're heavy awesome probably like a 30 i don't know 35 34 incher i'm not going to measure i'm just going to get them back in right away nice and healthy very cool very cool thank you buddy so as i was fighting that fish i hit the talon i'm going to pull up my swim bait now and kind of fan cast this whole area i know i've said this already but it's really hard to beat something like this to cover water blades just cover so much water burn and turn baby burn and turn I'm using this on actually a Savage Gear um, Bass Rod, Black Ops, medium heavy power, fast action, and it is a seven foot six. You can chuck these things a mile with that. And I've got it paired with a 300 Corrado, older Corrado Shimano. I'm using 30 pound G Core suffix, 131 G Core suffix. And then I have on here a titanium leader. It's a pretty good combination. You can chuck it a pile. But now let's pick up the swim bait rod and chuck the swim bait out here a little bit too. I think the best part about today is that it's so windy out, but you never know it in all these little back channels that I've been fishing, back bays. Oh, was I not recorded on my head camera? Man, my GoPro just shut off, which means I wasn't recording anything with that fish oh the second coolest moment i've had today and i wasn't recording on the head camera don't film youtube it's hard can't believe that clayton you donkey you're i'm such a donkey what was i just saying too 
No, oh, yeah, I was gonna say that it's pretty windy on the big lake right now. And it's so nice to be able to tuck back in these channels, back bays, behind islands. Oh, I'm so upset because that was a perfect boat side strike. And I have a polarizing lens on my GoPro. We probably captured everything. Oh well, we just gotta do it again, I guess. Darn it. Oh, I just got bumps right there. Oh, there we go, nice. Nice, looks like a decent one too. Casting the swim bait worked out. I was just gonna start moving again. Actually, I was just starting to move. Looked like a decent fish too. Not bad, about the same size as the last one. Telling down again. Awesome, well at least this time my head camera's going, right? Maybe a little bit smaller than the last one. It's a nice fish though. Nice fish, a little bit smaller than the last one. Pretty close to the same. Pretty close, if it gets off, it's okay. Swim bait, baby. Definitely a different fish. This one's lighter color, but quality fish though. Really bluish, blue silverish, but it's not a silver pike. Okay, freak. He freaked. Swim bait, swim bait. I love these things. Whoa, there goes my rod. I love these things for the reason that these hooks come out of the bait once that fish is hooked, you're gonna land a lot more of your fish because of that. The fish can't get leverage. Love these things. Deadly. Well, two decent ones here anyway. Doing okay for never pike fishing here before. It's okay. We're figuring it out. It's taking some time, but we're figuring some stuff out. Oh, there we go. That's a decent fish. Yep, that's not bad at all. Swim bait. That's a good fish. Yeah, that's a good one. Nice. That's a good pike right here. It's just staying down. <laughs> Even though this is a heavier rod, <laughs> it's crazy how much strength pike can have. Oh, stay button, baby. That's a nice fish. Love the way that bait will come off of that treble hook. Just have so much more confidence. Nice. Man, pike fishing just never gets old for me. Awesome. I'll talk about this rod setup after I land this fish. If I land this fish, I just can check my head camera. Okay, we, we were recording. So at least I have this on, this fish this time. Deadly, deadly. Ooh, come on, baby. That's a nice fish. Am I gonna net you or am I just gonna hand land you? I think I'm gonna hand land you. I got you tired out here, I think. That's a good one. High 30s for sure. Come on, baby. Come on. I prefer to hand land them if I can, just not to get them all messed up in the net. But there is nothing wrong with netting them either though. And if I lose them, not it doesn't really matter too much. Oh, that's a thick fish. That's a thick fish. Easy, easy. Come here, come here. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, 36. 36 and a quarter maybe. Oof, heavy. Again, these fish just amaze me. Amaze me, I can't talk. They amaze me how heavy they are. Awesome, healthy fish. So good, so good. Hardly out of the water. Back in you go. Well, I wanted to kick, but I stopped it. Let him re-energize just a little bit more. See you, buddy. Yes. Pike fishing just never gets old. I love walleye fishing, but I think I really prefer pike fishing just a little bit more. That was explosive bites. A little bit harder fight, obviously, than a walleye. Walleyes don't fight too hard for the most part. Not that they can't fight hard sometimes, but. 
I've obviously talked about this bait lots already, but Savage Gear 4D Perch Shad. I love the thumper tail. I also like the, the line throughs, the 3D line through trout I use a lot. I don't know why today I just chose a thumper tail, but they work really good. This is here an eight foot Battletech Savage Gear swim bait rod, heavy power, moderate fast action. You want a rod that is going to load a little bit when you're setting a hook, or sorry, when you're casting the hook. A bigger bait requires more of like a, kind of like a sling than it is like a snap. The Booker tail I was using earlier, I'm like snapping it out there, snapping it. Obviously guys that musky fish lots and throw big baits know more about this or are already gonna say, I know what you're talking about Clayton, or you don't have to explain that type of thing. But if you're gonna throw a bigger rod like this, let the rod and the bait do the work. Don't snap it. Come back, wait till that rod kind of loads and then sling it. If you come back and go forward too quick, that lure is gonna end up going backwards and then snapping forward and you're basically going to break the end of your rod nine out of ten times i've seen it happen it's not a pretty sight and most of the guys that are breaking rods that is how they do it a lot is like that obviously high sticking them is another way it happens lots but basically so when you come back i know i'm doing the worst job ever of explaining this but if you come back and go forward too quick that rod tip, it just does nasty things. So bring it back and like when I'm teaching somebody how to cast, these, I'll tell them to come back, pause it, put your hand up here and then just sling it. There's nothing wrong with pausing it for a second at the top, letting that lure settle and sling it. As soon as you start to get heavier baits, you can't just snap them. Snap them like you watch, like what you watch bass guys when they, when they cast a jerk bait, when they like snack it, they snap it, snap it. You gotta be ever so careful with rods and baits like this because you'll just buckle that rod in half. And it's gonna sound funny, but I don't know if I've ever broken a rod that hasn't been my fault. I hear, I hear it all the time. It's like, yeah, I broke the rod on a hook set or on a fish or well, you probably did something earlier to like weaken that rod in that sense. I've honestly never broken a rod that hasn't been my fault, whether I've stepped on it, whether I've caught it in a boat cleat, something like that. Like, I don't know, guys like always like, I break, I break rods all the time and it's like, how? It's like you're doing, if you're breaking rods all the time, you're doing something wrong. Like also you can get a faulty rod, it can happen, but most of the time you're literally doing something wrong. It's probably your fault, it's something you've done. Landing a fish when you're high sticking it on a snag. Guys break rods on snags all the time. I've never broken a rod on a hook set that where the rod wasn't like already cracked or something wrong with it. So just be careful with these big baits. But honestly, they're so much fun. Pike hit them with aggression. It's the best. Good day. Having a fun day. I've stayed out of the wind for the most part, which has been the best part because it is windy today. I guess when I talk about the rod, I didn't talk about the line. It's the same line that I was using on the other rod, the 131 G Core by Suffix. First year using this braid, very happy with it. But this one I'm throwing on, throwing a 50 pound test with it. And that's just because I'm throwing a bigger bait and I want to huck that bait hard. It's not because of the size of fish. You're not all, you're not matching your, your rod or your line to the size of fish that you're fishing. You're using your, the size of the rod and the line more to the type of bait that you're using. Obviously you don't wanna be underpowered. Like I don't wanna grab a, a one eight ounce jig and a, a walleye rod and fish for these pike because A, I'm gonna straighten that hook probably and two, underpowered, you're gonna end up tiring that fish out which is gonna cause fatigue and then they're gonna die. So never underpower yourself for that fish but don't forget you're matching your rod and your line to the bait that you're using, not necessarily the fish that you're fishing for. Oh, there we go. Smaller one. Hit me way, way out there though. It's a nice thing about the big bait too. You still catch small fish. It's not like you're gonna only go out and get one or two bites in a day, right? 
you obviously increase your chance of catching a better fish. It's not a bad fish though, with a bigger bait for the most part, I believe. But smaller pike, medium pike, they'll still go after these baits. I like this rod. This is like the first year I've tested these Savage Gear swim bait rods. Pass the test. <laughs> he missed it. He's got it. Nice. So the first time he rolled on it, I made sure I didn't set the hook because he straight missed it. Oh, it came off. <laughs> first cast. It's really important to not like set the hook instantly as soon as you see something roll on it or whether even if you think you it ate it, just just keep reeling. Wait till you get weight. Because if they do miss it, they'll turn around and come back for it again. So if, if, he, if he misses it right now and I keep going slow, he'll find it again. But if I yank it out of the water and bring it way over here, well, he probably won't find it again. Jeez. Three casts, two strikes. That's awesome. Sometimes top water can be the best thing too. <laughs> I love top water pike fishing. It's probably my favorite way to pike fish is top water. Although I love everything. I love fly fishing for them. I love sight fishing for them. I love big baits for them. It's not a slouch. It's not a slouch of a fish. Top water, baby. Awesome. Awesome. Well, three different baits today. That's a nice fish. Barbless hooks are so good for pike. It saves them a lot. Another beautiful fish, probably a 33 incher, something like that. Healthy fish, healthy, healthy fish. See ya. So this is a smash tail size 135. And then I put on Savage Gear grip treble hooks. I know there's been a lot of Savage Gear today. Honestly, Savage Gear makes the best predator tackle out there. For, for pike, it's, they're so good. They have so many different lures. I love it. I've been fishing with Savage Gear stuff for probably close to 10 years now. When the 3D line through trout first came out is kind of when I first started to use them. And it's, it's awesome. Two casts, no, three casts. Two hookups, one fish landed. What'll happen next? Oh. <laughs> he came flying out of the water. That was awesome. That was so awesome. Oh, I'm like a kid right now. Completely airborne. Man, sometimes I wish I had a camera guy with like slow-mo and stuff because that would have been so epic. Oh yeah, that was cool. I was going to say it looked big, but I think it was just because I saw the whole mouth wide open. I can't tell. It's not small. Actually, no, that's a good fish. Oh no, never mind. Yeah, I thought its tail was further back. It's, it's nice, don't get me wrong. I'm very, very spoiled when it comes to pike fishing. Very spoiled. So amazing. If you want to spit it, you can. If you want to spit it, you can. This one's got cool patterns. Very cool pattern. Look at the nice cool patterns it's got on it right there. Small, small specks. Beautiful fish. Another healthy pike. Great day. Great day. It's taken me a while to figure it out, but I'm having uh, a lot of fun with topwater right now. Not gonna lie. Well, that'll wrap up this video. I'm not gonna lie. I had a pile of fun fishing for pike. This is not gonna be the last time I fish for pike up in this area. I hit three different lakes today. First cranberry, second cranberry, and parts of third cranberry. I casted all day, worked hard. I kind of explained what I was using, when I was using type of thing. The booker tail for when I was trying to cover water quick. This is when I figured there was some fish in the area and I could work things a little bit slower. And then the top water, just because, well, top water can be used anytime. 
except for in like giant waves, you just gotta upsize your top water for the most part, but you don't have to have flat calm. So yeah, great day. Love the North, Caribou Lodge Outfitters. Such a great place. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget, get outside.